guys. So another question I was asked was if the horse is avoiding the contact where they just keep their head up and suck back. Um, Ricky does that a fair bit. Um, I've just recently changed to a Pelham bridle, not because I need two sets of reins, I actually don't agree with this bridle for her at the moment, but because the actual meat in the mouth is I've got a single link, whereas I was using a, a French snap that has got three links. She just seems to be a lot happier in the single link, um, even though it's a harsher bit. So she may have been tongue-tied when she was racing and she might have a really sensitive tongue, so the three links, the three link bit sits across the tongue and it's just she was just leaning on it all the time. She still does it with this one a little bit, so we're still trying out new bits for her, um, but she's definitely better with it. So if you're having issues with your horse's mouth, just try playing around with the bits a bit, um, or ask the bit bank. Um, they've got a pretty good information about what you can use if you're having certain issues. But if your horse isn't putting its head down, um, some things that have helped me is to actually they got their head up like that, just to, like you can either put your hands, you can keep your hands up and forward, and as they take the contact, follow them down. That's one way to do it, that might help them. Um, when you do do this, make sure you're not pulling back on it, it's got to be up, like the line from the rain. The rein line has to be pretty much parallel, like the angle of your bit and rein has to be parallel. You can't be pulling backwards like that. So you hold your hands up and forward. putting their head down and they're sucking back a bit um, you can actually just lean forward a little bit and the same thing just get your weight off their back a little bit and just encourage them to go down that way um, so I'll do a few things like that at walk and trot and see if it makes a difference I don't know if she's going to do it in this um, we're out in the big paddock today because I'm going to do some canner work as well um, but there's a bit of things going on out here at the moment so she's a little bit distracted I'm just going to have a play and I'll show you some of the techniques I use to get them to put their head down without having to seesaw on their mouth. Okay, so here we go. So the rein that you want them to bend to, just give and then let go. And a little bit of leg around on that on that bending leg, like the inside leg, give, let go, so that you direct them back down. It makes them to 
over bend in their neck for a second, but because you're not pulling on the other rein as well, it's okay. if they put their head right down like they don't know where you want it they've had their head up so high for them to put it down is actually really good for them to stretch all over their back so let them do that for a few strides don't let them walk forever with their nose on the ground because they could trip but definitely encourage that stretching and you want them to try and put their nose forward when they're going down not just tucking it behind so if they start to tuck it behind just guide your hands down a bit more forward and put your hands as forward as you can like even if you just shake the reins at them a little bit so here take some, take some more rain put your nose out to me so we'll see how it goes um, same things again I'll lean forward a little bit to guide her head down if she's really not listening I might lift my hands up a bit to get her to 